Well, hello there. And welcome back. This is my first episode after Emerald City Comic Con. If you were there, you know how awesome it was. I got to meet Hayden Christensen. Darth Vader. He was a really nice guy. I wish I could have talked to him a little more, but the, the camera people were shooing me out. I have so much to talk about. This is my first Comic Con. It left an impression for sure. I am definitely going back next year. I want to do the San Diego Comic Con. I want to do the New York Comic Con. I want to do them all. I, it's it, it's exciting. This was definitely a, a game changer for me. I, I definitely want to be a part of it. Uh, loving comics like I do. It's just, you know, I don't have to say this. One thing I do have to say is I was surprised I didn't buy more Legends figures. I only got this one. I'm happy with this one. Some dude tried to charge me 70 bucks for this one. I got it for like, it doesn't matter what I got it for. I got it for a good price. But when you're there, make sure that you're checking your prices because sometimes people are trying to get you. Met a lot of cool people. Did a lot of cool things. Uh, met some uh, independent comic writers, uh, independent businesses, like these guys that make candles. Super cool group of people. Um, really awesome. Some of the, because you can tell I, I love candles. Well, I'll have to do a video on these guys, giving them a proper shout out and all that stuff, but they were amazing. I spent a lot of money on candles. Some of the best scents I've ever smelled from a candle, you know, and yeah, I'm big in the candle. So this was kind of exciting to find at Comic Con. Found some cool special toys I was looking for. Um, got a sick little caricature. I know. It's like me. Like, look at that. I'm pretty sure that's how big my arms were too. Anyways, but yeah, pretty cool. Thank you to the artist who drew this. I wish he would have signed his name, but paid a lot for that, but it was worth it. I, I definitely want to go into all this stuff and give it its, its due. So I will probably be splitting this up into a couple different videos, kind of sharing my experience of how I thought the whole thing went. And the stuff that I got, the stuff that I'd like to see next year, just in case you guys are curious about these Comic Cons, especially Emerald City, because that's the one that I went to. But yeah, let's get into this, shall we? All right, so first up, I kind of wanted to talk about the comics that I found there. Since it is, you know, in the name Comic Con, it was pretty important to me to look for uh, good stories, um, lesser known writers and illustrators. And I definitely found some, a lot of them were very pleased to just talk about their work. Uh, and I was very intrigued with their ideas. I, I really did like this. It was a very cool avenue to see new things, you know? So the first one I'd like to talk about, and I will read these. Uh, I've read and skimmed over some of this just to kind of get a general idea of what it's about. And I heard, you know, their intros from the creators, uh, which for most of these, I did have the creators or writers, they signed all my stuff, which is pretty cool. But um, so this first one is Kodoja or Kodoja. Um, and he's pretty much like a special i'll just read the back here it says three years ago special weapons division deactivated a highly advanced super weapon a 200 foot tall dna droid called x66-7 or kodoja it was shut down because it's uh, performed too well in testing to the point of being unstoppable already sounds like an interesting story right so um pretty much he gets reactivated without them reactivating him so and then he just starts thrashing the city and it's 
so far very interesting read there is three books so far there's the first one right there great art um nice uh they have some full art pages of the monster just really a really interesting story if you like godzilla you'll like this you know what i mean so i mean they've got some some cool art in there and like i said i will be doing some in-depth details to kind of give these these writers and uh, books a little better do if i you know do say <laughs> that was lame um so yeah um still same i know that was lame again signed it for me super cool and in each one you could tell they're getting a little different in their art and the way the story is told but still same concept godzilla style story um i was also able to pick up this figure they were selling it was a bit pricey but uh my mom and papa bought it for me so i i, I really thank you mom and step came with a pretty cool box um very like pop art you know what i mean um but it was a 3d printed figure not completely finished but still really cool especially when you're reading the story i like kind of having something that i can i can hold and you know read the story at the same time my kids love it it's, it's very interesting uh so yeah that was the second book and then there's a volume three um still again really cool artwork um really interesting story um and then there is a mini comic in between volume two and volume three so uh really cool stuff we had to stop for a burrito break real quick what was i talking about comic book yeah so kodoja check it out super cool stuff um, then I was able to snag a Night Terrors comic, and this was by John Carpenter and his wife, and her name is, I think that I'd, Sandy King, that's what it was. So Sandy King, she ended up signing this book. Uh, the story, again, I haven't read all these because I've just gotten back. Um, but I'm going to do an in-depth look at these because I'm very excited. This is pretty much like Space Zombies. That's like the gist of it. She was really nice. And she was charging for signatures. And I came up and I listened to the, the guy's whole conversation about, you know, the books and all that other stuff. I, I'm, I'm genuinely interested. And she saw that and she ended up signing this for free. So... Thank you, Sandy King. Super nice lady. So far, what I've read of this, because I've just kind of skimmed, this seems like an, an amazing story. And the cover art got me. I mean, great stuff. Very visually entertaining. Uh, but the back says, in the not too distant future, Earth no longer has room for graveyards. Callisto, a rocky moon of Jupiter, has become designated as the graveyard moon, but only the wealthy can afford a proper burial there. Cooper and his longtime crew prepare their or cargo ship to transport a load of the dead, having flown this route many times over, but their routine trip is disrupted by deception and greed, and they find themselves under siege by the... What does it say? By the ghosts of the dead they carry, teaching them a lesson they may learn too late. Never disrespect the dead. But it's pretty much like a zombie space thing. It's pretty crazy. But yeah, anyways, check out Storm King comics. Um, they're all pretty much like horror based. Uh, but this one definitely drew my attention. So next we got 
Nomad the Unconquerable. Or Nomad, yeah, the Unconquerable. Super cool. These guys were really, really awesome. I got all three of these books. This is pretty much just like a, a art book. So it shows a bunch of the artwork that's in these books and the creatures and all that stuff, which is really cool. I got all of these for 20 bucks. Yeah, so I definitely couldn't pass that up. But this is like a crazy story about this guy who pretty much he has like a there's a moon goddess and she ends up picking him to like avenge his family or avenge it. it's it's just a crazy story but he's able to like create moon weapons and so like his axe is like made out of like moon stuff crazy story um i can't i can't wait to get all the way through this but these guys uh, i was talking to them at their booth they gave me all the time in the world really really nice people um, and a super cool story. They had this sick poster behind their booth. It was it was awesome. But uh, Nomad, if you're interested in this stuff, they do have a website. Um, all of these guys have a website. So uh, just look up Nomad, the Unconquerable. And I think it's BQ Comics right up here. But super awesome guys. Um, really cool um and they're just into their work you know what i mean but check out nomad the unconquerable and then we got this was a free issue given to me this is by stranger comics but they had this huge booth so it's yeah stranger comics um so they have a www.strangercomics.com uh it says you can receive 10% off with code ECCC, Emerald City Comic Con. Check that out. But the story was nuts. She's pretty much like, it's about this girl. And she's like uh, young, but then it shows her growing up. And then ends up becoming like the savior of the universe type thing. Like chosen one, you know, like Anakin Skywalker is in Star Wars type of thing. Um, and it's all, I believe, based off of their D&D &D game. But it's like, you, if you play D&D &D or have been with D&Ders, they are super in-depth and care about their stories. So when this guy was talking to me about this, it, it was crazy. So definitely check them out. I wish I remembered the name. They'll they'll be on there, but just look for this this girl on Stranger Comics. But super cool sounding story. Um, I wish I could have bought all the books, um, but I was trying to chase down Deadpool for a picture. Yep. That happens. Yeah, it does. But yeah, tons of fun at Emerald City. Uh, we will be doing a little more in-depth um, talk on some of these companies, like the Euphoric treehouse these guys really awesome i wish they could make me a candle because they're so amazing but they are super busy but great candles they have some of the the craziest scents like uzumaki noodles i believe this is from naruto it smells just like top ramen i know that doesn't sound that great in a candle but it smells like top ramen it's it's nuts crazy stuff super awesome people but i will do a standalone video with these guys and a standalone video with um the abominable toys uh, because this guy was really really cool and he told me some stuff that was uh hopefully coming out 2022 so um yeah but uh if you've never been to a comic con definitely i highly suggest going it's it's so much fun we yeah we had so much fun got to meet hayden christensen he's my light in this dark world i wish i could have talked to him a lot longer but he was like really nice too like i walked up and i think he's he noticed my face i was like sheer panic because I was like, oh, it's no big deal. I'm just going to go meet Hayden Christensen. But then I got there and I was like, 
uh, like starstruck and then is blazing balls hot in the stinking waiting room and they were all like you know six feet apart but we were slammed in this small room like cattle it wasn't bad though and it was worth it to meet him but i go up there and he's like like smiling at me he's like oh hey how you doing i'm like uh, hello darth vader because you know for me this is darth vader i mean i grew up on the old um, original trilogy, but this this is my guy that I grew up with is Darth Vader, so it's a big deal for me. It was, and he was very very nice, super fun. And if you see any of his other pictures, like he's he's always he's having a good time. So really cool to see him. Wish I could have seen John Cena. He was there too, um, but I'm not that rich. It was like a lot of money to get a picture, and then if you wanted an autograph, you had to pay pretty much the same price. And you had to bring your own thing, which would have been worth it. But I'm not down to spending like three, four hundred dollars just to stink and get all that stuff. But it would have it would have been worth it. But yeah. Anyways, but please remember to like and subscribe, comment, tell me if you've ever been to a, a Comic Con or if you went to Emerald City Comic Con. How'd you like it? I was only there Saturday and Sunday life-changing though i'd love to have a booth there one day and just sell stuff and hang out with people dress up as all might my favorite character i got a button that's all might i bet i'm really loud right now anyways but yeah i hope you have a good rest of your your monday everybody so remember to be legendary and we will see you in the next video.